the winner of the 2013 overall business of the year is Bruni Island Cheese Company. And um, I just got word that, uh, no, Tom, I think you're going to be okay because I reckon if you check your screens, we could have something for you. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome, strangely, to our, the middle of Iceland. Look, I've just found out about this award and to be honest, I'm, I'm speechless, I'm blown away. When we started this process of applying for a Telstra Business Award, my goal was to become a finalist at the state level, to then go on and win three awards in Tasmania and to be here tonight surrounded by so many brilliant businesses, all of which are deserving. To be chosen amongst you is an honour I don't take lightly. Look, the fact that I'm in Iceland, it's obvious I'm surrounded by a bunch of incredibly supportive people. Tom and Sally are there tonight, thank you very much. Back on Bruni, I have an incredible team of staff and people that really do the work, that make this happen, that make the business what it is today. This award goes in some way of recognising the incredible hard work that those people have done at home. To my wife, to my incredibly beautiful Leonie and wonderful kids, Tiller and Wilkie, who still managed to give me a hug every time I walk through the door, whether I deserve it or not. Thank you so much for your support. It means so much. And to Telstra, wow. Um, thank you so much just for recognising small business, regional business, and the importance it plays in Tasmania. This means so much to us. Thank you. Have a good night, Tom and Sally. All right, Nicardo. I think we've... Um, so have we... Well, we lost him. But, uh, hang on. Uh, Nick. Andrew. You're the, uh, Nick Haddo in Iceland, ladies and gentlemen. Good on you, Nick. <laughs> oh, this is surreal, Andrew. So, um, look, congratulations, obviously. What are you doing in Iceland? All right. Um, I'm actually here as part of a Churchill Fellowship that I won. I'm studying island economies and, and the marketing of island economies around the world. Excellent. It's a shame that you're not here. Can you, it's a huge shame. Can you I'm feeling, I'm, you've I'm got feeling a, a very, very long way away. I, I feel a bit like Neil Armstrong. Here. <laughs> Interestingly enough, you're sounding a bit like Neil Armstrong. <laughs> just remember, one small step. Um, you've got a table here who are going to just celebrate madly for you. For you personally, Nick, what does it mean for you and for your business? Ah, oh, look, it's, uh, it's, I can't even think about it without giggling at the moment. Um, it, it just means so much. The, the effort that's, that so many people have put into this business, not just the current team, but everyone who's ever worked in the business over the last 10 years. Um, you know, look, it, it's just an amazing achievement and recognition of, of, of that work. Um, so thank you so much, you know, in person to to not just, not just the team that, that I have there, but also, you know, the customers and the suppliers, everyone that's part of this business deserves this. Okay. Um, Tom spoke beautifully for you earlier, uh, and, and I know they, they really are going to celebrate quite hard for you. Just a question from um, some of the people on Table 21. They said, what would you suggest would be the best wine to drink with the saint that they're having with their, uh, their after-dinner drinks? Uh, right now, the nearest one, I reckon, would work well. <laughs> Congratulations, Nick. Uh, well done, and we'll celebrate for you here tonight. Nick Haddo, ladies and gentlemen.